Learn about the future of the money today. Neocashradio.com, hey, hey. You know me, I don't spend much time talking about the White House. But I did have a counterintuitive thought about what's going on there lately. I call it a cause for rejoicing. The IRS scandal, the drone scandal, the Fast and Furious scandal, the spying on reporters scandal, and a couple others that I'm forgetting. It's kind of like Watergate on steroids. And Watergate sort of theoretically gave us a crippled presidency. It would almost have been better if Nixon had survived it and been this sort of incapable, lame duck for two years. But as it was after Nixon, we didn't really have a a super strong president again until Reagan. And Ford and Carter weren't all that cruel. They didn't get all that much done. By federal government standard, th- uh, federal government standards, things got kind of okay for about, well, almost almost thirty years after Nixon. I wonder if that could be repeating itself here. Some of you have criticized me for opining that I, I thought it would be best for Obama to win that twenty twelve election. The reason I thought that at the time was that I just thought Romney was more dangerous and more likely to launch a larger number of wars. And I think as we watch things unfold, that's kind of how it's playing out. Obama, although he's something of a warmonger, he's just proving to be less than what Romney would have been. I don't believe what he's saying when he talks about, you know, reducing the drone warfare and ending the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. <clears throat> a lot of that's just show, but the fact that he's having to say these things and take some moves in those directions, that's pretty big. Things seem to be getting set up for uh, a reduced presidency over the next few years. Something may happen, or the government may do something itself to make itself look needed again. I'm starting to feel just a little bit optimistic. I mean, federally optimistic. That's really a strange feeling. And you know, the neat thing is, I would not have thought that IRS denying some 501c3 applications would have been that big of a scandal. I'm pretty happy that the media is making as big a deal out of it as they are. I mean... To me, that was just kind of a routine thing that the IRS always does that. I mean, they did it to the Free State Project a long time ago. We've just gotten used to them, uh, you know, uh, blowing off anybody that wants a 501c3 and they're, and they're, you know, politically okay in the liberty activist's mind. Those kinds of people almost always get thrown out the window by the IRS. This stuff is really blowing up kind of good. Maybe some of the system still works. Now the question is, should we hope for an Obama impeachment that's successful uh, or not? Now I'd love to see an impeachment, but I'm not sure that I actually want to see him thrown out of office and Joe Biden come in and get to run for re-election as an incumbent, maybe even win. I don't like that. Oh, and have you you noticed lately the the, the lack of anti-Iran war drum beating? Also, look at how they've handled the Adam Kokesh situation. Taking him out before he could complete his planned armed march on Washington. I'm not sure that's what they would do if they wanted a civil war. I would think they would let him go forward with it and have some kind of terrible incident happen there and blame it on him. You would think that's how they would do it. I just don't see, I'm not sure what they're thinking. The way they've handled it, it makes them look bad because they arrested him without him having actually done anything illegal yet. They made it real plain that's what they were doing. Then they censored his website, apparently. They didn't do anything that's likely to spark bloodshed. I'm just glad to see Washington perceived as scandal-plagued every day in the mainstream press again. 
That's the way they used to report on Washington, and it's good to see them doing that again. If it took a little help from Obama himself, well, then who am I to complain? No, oh, well, I'm Ridley. I complain all the time. Bitcoins, the world's first practical internet cash. A nightmare for governments to try and control. Inflation and counterfeit resistant. They return you some control over your money. And a new measure of anonymity. A lot cheaper to use than PayPal. You can use them to buy tax-free cigarettes. And almost anything else. I accept Bitcoins. So can you. Get started at WeUseCoins.com